Mike, the uh, coach tour business took quite a beating over the last couple of three years in the downturn, but, but there seems to be a pretty strong recovery in this sector underway this year. Is that how you see it? Yeah, uh, there's definitely a bounce in it, Eamon. Uh, the American market is up, uh, and I think the bigger operators, CIE and uh, Talk Tours and the various people that concentrate on the American market can can um, can occur with that. Uh, we are finding it on the golf tourism side of mm -hmm. it, very much so. Um, probably 15% of an increase on That's that. That's terrific. Which yeah. is coming from a low base, admittedly, but yeah. going in the right direction. Sure. Um, and the FITs seem to be up, and certainly um, the small or small show for drive business is very, very strong. That's encouraging. Yeah. That's encouraging. Yes. And what is it? Is it mainly from North America, Mike, or Primarily North continental America, Europe uh, uh, showing anything? The continental European business is up, but not to the same degree as yeah. in our um, experience. Um, yeah. Certainly the German market seems to be up slightly, sure. up maybe up 5%, and yeah. the French and Italian market certainly hasn't gone backwards. Yeah. You know? So yeah. all, all positive and all going in the right direction. That's terrific. You know? And interestingly, there's always this old myth about coach tourings that the people tend to be older and uh, you know that there's not a market yeah. for the future. But sure, that's an old wives' tale. I mean, people are getting older all well, the time. And there are uh, so many different products now as well. I mean, if you look at the younger generation and the paddy wagons and yes. the Demarkers and these groups, they're bringing you the age pro. Is, it's coming is, down. It's coming down and it's changed. Yeah. Um, and the coach tour, some sector deals with incentive groups, right. uh, it deals with uh, sightseeing programs yeah. and then the, spe the niche markets, the, yeah, the golf yeah. and the fishing. So um, it, it, um, I wouldn't put any particular age group on it. No, no. no. It's, it's, it's just a convenient way of getting around for people regardless of age and particularly golfers of course with all the golf gear Correct. that you have Correct. to bring with yeah, you. Yeah. The, the golf market, I mean, say, we were at the cold face of it in the late 90s yeah. and it really um, it, it stood us in good stead obviously yeah. but um, it's uh, it's now become an affordable product yeah, again. That's you know? right. Uh, the rates and isn't that an issue Mike? Didn't we all sectors, not not coach tourism, but oh, did, didn't we really uh, lose out on the competitiveness oh, things? There? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. say, we have situations where the average eight day trip, chauffeur driven trip for an American golfer was costing three to three and a half thousand dollars. Yeah, and that was yeah. the ground transportation yeah. or the, the ground handling side handling, of the yeah, loan, yeah, apart yeah, from flights, yeah. you know. So certainly uh, the value for money is there. The golf sure. courses have, have reined in their horns. Uh, yeah. The uh, hotels sector, as you know, yeah. is very, very competitive. Sure. And within our own industry as well, um, pricing has become much, much more of an issue. Yeah, and the big thing now is we have to get that message out there that, that Ireland has become much more absolutely, competitive. Absolutely, and yeah. I think it's beginning to filter back. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, certainly the um, the product was always there, yeah. um, but certainly it, it became an expensive product. Oh, it did, you know? yeah, it um, did, and it became unaffordable, let's be frank about it, to a lot, for a lot of people. And the I coach tours, the, the coaches themselves, of course, they are tremendous quality now, but obviously it's quite expensive, and in terms of renewing them, I mean, you need to see this lift. Well, you see, I think what had happened uh, within the coach tourism sector, I mean, is that the the profile, the fleet profile across the yeah. board had increased to the level that everybody, we were running one of the newest fleets in Europe, yeah. within Ireland, yeah. up to 2007, 2008. Mm. Um, and then, obviously, with the downturn, um, A, the confidence wasn't there, yeah. B, the rates were um, more subdued, sure. and uh, obviously the whole credit situation became yeah. an issue. Yeah. And that's know? still an issue, credit, isn't very it? Much so, uh, very much so. You know, yeah. I think what would have happened is that people that would have borrowed money in the better years at very high rates, I mean, say new touring yeah. coach is costing 300,000 euros, yeah. you know, yeah. so it's it's to get a return on investment in yeah. that, you need to be procuring decent rates. Sure. And sure. Um, it, it became it became more difficult with people with large borrowings trying to service that debt, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, and to acquire new credit is increasingly difficult, yeah. you know. Yeah, I get that impression uh, all over Ireland, but particularly in the West, that, mm. that there are many what appear to be very viable businesses doing well, working hard, but, but having a huge necessity to access credit, particularly in the winter season, and there doesn't seem to be any easement in that well, area. Well, you see, the biggest difficulty, as you know, within the tourism sector is that it's, it's a seasonal business, yeah. and... Uh, you know, I was born and reared in tourism from from the Janting cars years ago, and you yeah. you earned your all, you earned your money in a six month That's period, right. and then you could survive for the winter. That's right. Uh, and surviving the winter is more difficult now, obviously. It is. Um, working capital has become a major issue. Sure. Um, now a lot of the banks are they, they're trying to take commercial yeah. uh, decisions as well, so they're yeah. they're obviously keeping 
people going um, that that they believe in. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the difficulties, funnily enough, that we're mm. finding mm. is that whereas, um, and it, it goes back to the rates issue, whereas we meet all our financial obligations yeah. and you, you're you uh, meeting your revenue obligations, etc., mm. etc., um, the banks obviously are giving moratoriums to, yeah. to, to clients, they're giving um, interest-free only situations where the principal yeah. is being frozen, yeah. and unfortunately it causes the same type of inequity yeah. as in the hotel sector. That's in that right. We're then competing with people uh, who are probably undercutting the, the yeah. rate. Yeah. Uh, and I've had this uh, at, at the top level with the bank people sure. saying, you sure. know what, this can't continue. It either, can't, you no. Know, it's, in the it's, same way yeah. as the now. With the hotels, hotels uh, are, exactly. Are, are causing a lot of difficulties. It's a real problem. And, and actually at a time when the demand side of the business is lifting, correct, uh, correct. you know, it's really important that, that that pressure is brought to bear on that whole situation well, to get this, some easement. This in is the, the thing about and as you know, at the, the end user, the consumer, yeah. wants value for money. That's the right. handling agents are obviously no use to getting uh, an exceptionally yeah. good rate. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you just hope that as as the tide lifts, yeah. that uh, the, um, the, the 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 rates the other pieces will fall into place. In. Exactly. Well, at least the good news, Mike, is that we do seem to have hit the bottom. And uh, Scotty, I mean, yeah, I mean, say, I'm, I'm very encouraged with yeah. a lot of. Um, I mean, say the, we're just on the back of the Irish Open here in Killarney, yeah, which is went a great wonderfully success. well. Salham Cup in September is yeah, another big program right. within the golf sector. Yeah. Um, there's the, there's a small confidence creeping back into yeah. people and it's yeah there is yeah. light at the end of the tunnel there is and we can build on that absolutely well we thank always, you we always look to the end of the tunnel for that light but it's absolutely there the absolutely thanks for talking to us mike not at all you're very welcome Emma. Great. thank you